And so the, the biggest benefit of the globe site for me is the, the reticles because they have those fine crosshairs. You know, most guns right now come equipped like that CVA traditions, Thompson Center, they will come equipped with fiber optic sites, which were great. You know, they, um, they don't glow per se, but when the sunlight hits them, they, they pop. light up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so if you're in, um, like a low light scenario, you know, they do a, they do a fairly good job of, you know, creating the illusion that they're lit up. And mm -hmm. so you can yeah, a really good job. I use those. Yeah for quite a bit before I switched to the oh, WPS. So. Absolutely. And the biggest thing to realize if you're shooting a hundred yards, um, you know, people are, Oh, well the fur, the front fiber optics too big. It covers up the targets. Like you're mm -hmm. really only shooting between 25 and a hundred yards. If, if not less than that. And so yeah, it's like, yeah. you don't really need to reach out to the point where the, the site is covering up the target. And again, that depends on how you set up your gun. Sure. I mean, if you're holding that fiber optic site right on what you want to hit, mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. You know, I sight mine in to where just you can just barely see the top of the fiber optic. Sure. That way it gives me a finer point of aim. But yeah. yeah. And so the WPS came in, um, my Williams, which was just phenomenal. So it has the front globe sight with the different reticles, like you were saying, and then a dedicated peep sight on the back, which has a special height ramp. Um, so you don't run out of elevation when you're sighting it in with the globe sight. And so the biggest benefit of the globe sight for me is the, the reticles because they have those fine crosshairs. Mm -hmm. So instead of having this larger um, fiber optic post, you're having this very, very fine crosshair. So realistically with the WPS, you can reach out to 150 yards. Well, for me personally, 150 mm -hmm. yards yeah, absolutely. confidently without covering up the target. Like you yeah. have that much openness, you have better target acquis acquisition, um, and you're just not covering up the target near as much as you would with a post site. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for watching this excerpt from our podcast with Nate and Kalo about Northwest muzzleloader hunting. And if you want to check out the full episode, then look up the Muzzleloaders podcast, which is available on all major podcast platforms.